All right, welcome back to another episode of Regular One Playthrough in Nightfall. Uh, we're continuing off from our noob proof farming method. Elias is using the Nightbringer. Uh, the Kodash Prazar also has a lot of merchants. So I'm going to use this time to sell a bunch of materials. Maybe upgrade some of our uh, runes and uh, armor stuff for our heroes while we're at it. So let me see what everything's worth. I don't want to sell everything. And I definitely don't want to sell if things are not worth it. Um, like, yeah, plant fibers. Whoa. Plant fibers are expensive these days. Why are they so expensive? 500 gold? I need to, I need to get more plant fibers. I'm pretty sure I've been avoiding, like, salvaging plant stuff, but that's crazy. 500 gold, why is they so expensive? Anyway, 380 for iron, that's a good price to sell at. Bones, what are you at right now? 100, I'll just sell a couple, that's not really worth selling. Hide is always really cheap. We'll sell a bunch of these because this doesn't really change. Uh, cloth, what are you at? 30, yeah, we'll sell a bunch of these. And then glittering dust is usually a lot. 220, that's not great. I'll sell like one of them. All right, um, let's go ahead and get a rune for a rune of death magic for Elias. What are they at? Yeah, they're cheap. Maybe let's just get a go ahead and get a major. Superior death is also maybe worth it. So we can have really strong minions, but I think we'll we'll just go with the major. That's a good compromise. Put that on him. So now he'll get yeah, plus three because it makes his helmet automatically uh death magic kind of like how they did that so you don't have to buy like different helmets for each hero yeah we'll just do that um what about margaret i'm changing her build too i want to make her more of a pet barrage remember that old school build so let's give her a beast mastery beast mastery there we go I don't think she has one, does she? Put it here. Yeah, Beastmaster's vest of Beast Mastery. <laughs> it's a little bit redundant, isn't it? Uh, that's funny. And then let me check the price on this. Wind. Yeah, that's that's nothing. All right. Uh, let's get going. Let's get get on our uh, main quest line here. So I need to talk to Zerai the Learner. And I think finally this might lead us to getting Norgu. I'm ready for a new hero. Here it is. Brains or Brawn. That's, that lets me get Norgu. Let's do that quest this, this episode. And then this is a primary uh, three merchant princes of Vavi summon you to the halls of Choken. Yeah, we'll do that later. Let's get a new hero. Brains or brawn. Excellent. So I need to go back to Boca. So he's just back at whoops. He's just back at his at his mansion. Like nothing ever happened. Remember whenever he fled into his panic room because he was scared of Varish, and now he's just he's just back there hanging out. Let's go. So I am bringing illusionary weaponry. Don't remember if I said that or not. I wanted to try out Never Rampage Alone. It's a Sun Spear skill. I think I could be using. Whoops! Didn't mean to use it right away. I could use that or Hecate's Rampage, but. This also buffs my pet. Ferocious Strike is also not bad for us because it gives you that energy renewal. That would be good on any caster that is running pet because it's a really good, consistent, spammable 
energy regen. I mean, it ends up giving you only like three energy for the cost, you know, but still. Yeah, my reputation is too big. I don't get anything here. Let me precast Illusion of Weakness. And I am using Tainted Flesh on my Elias. And he's using lots of spammable... He's like an enchanter. He's basically an enchanter minion master. Should be fun. Be casting that on all kinds of people. I don't know why I'm using accumulated pain, honestly. I need to get rid of that. Uh, Elias... Cost needs to be fighting. There we go. And she needs to not use splinter weapon on me. I think the next attacks. target allies next four attacks deal 35 damage to Jason. I wonder if that matters. If I, I don't think I don't think it helps us because I think it only works if the attack lands. Allies next four attacks deal. Yeah, I don't know honestly. Does my attack need to land? This one definitely needs to land. Because it steals 35, 37 health. This one, I'm not sure if it needs to land or not. Norgu will be a great entertainer. So Goran has natural strength and size. Norgu is certainly entertaining quick on his feet. I think they're both fairly trustworthy. What do you think? Who should I send to Istan to protect my beloved Meduaha? Wait, wait. So if whoever I choose here, does that mean they become my hero? Oh no. See Gorin for your ward. So, can I cancel that? Night. Helps I choose decide between. Yeah. What does this mean? Does this mean whoever I choose? Yeah, I think it means... Okay, yeah, I think it means whoever I choose will not... So let me let me do that again. I need to I need to choose Gorin then. Whoa, that's... You gotta be careful with that. Okay, let's go back to the bazaar. Yeah, if I didn't read that carefully, I definitely would have picked Gorin instead of Norgu. So he, I'm trying to help him choose who to protect his daughter, and that person will not be with me. So it makes sense. Okay, I'm going to skip back to the decision. Okay, we're back. So I talked to Zerai, and I choose Gorin because he's going to be a bodyguard for his daughter. So now I... Why don't you talk to him? Perhaps sometime following a real hill. Yeah, so now we can get Norgu this way. I don't remember that being that so so confusing. I'm just about to leave for a few scheduled performances. The world may be in chaos, but that doesn't mean it changes. Yeah, talk to me again when you're ready to leave. And so now we get Gor or Norgu. We just got to do one more quest for him. Um. Okay. Where is this at? Batindi Valley. 
perform with Norgu and Jahir. Uh, where's the fastest way to get down there? Through. I guess we should just go this way. Another good thing about this quest, this skill, Never Rampage Alone, is it's 25 seconds. I mean, that makes sense that it's 15 energy then, because you don't have to cast it. It's a stance, or it's a, and it's not even a stance, it's a skill. That's crazy. It's so strong. Sympathetic Visage is really good in this area. Lots of... Lots of, um... Dervish. Yeah, I wish she didn't cast Splinter Weapon on me. She should be casting it on... Other people. She should be casting it on herself, honestly. Should be seeing lots of disease. There it is, and poison popping up because of uh, Death Nova and Tainted Flesh. And just those, just being able to put th those two, those two conditions on like huge groups of enemies is going to be a lot of DPS. So I, I like this build. He's got a lot of survivability because of these two skills. Ooh, we get a lion for Margaret. Nice. Let's send these guys back. Except you, Margaret, you're gonna come here. And you're gonna charm this guy. Where's it going? Phew, that was close. All right. How do I change? How do I change? I don't, I don't know if I can change that pet name for my hero's pet. Can I do like slash hero pet, hero pet name like lion? Yeah, it doesn't work. Can you change your hero's pet? Let me know in the comments. Hero's pet name. I should specify. Yeah, I could probably just look it up. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make my commenters tell me. Man, I'm still 500 gold. Ooh, feathers. 500 <laughs> 500 gold for the plant fibers is crazy. I need to farm more of those. The other good thing about having a low level like a level 5 pet like this is if it dies, that's more um corpses for Elias. So that's really good. Did I buy any more lockpicks? 
don't think I did. Yeah, I wish there's a way to make a filter for who Margrid's allowed to use night uh the weapon skills on. She should only be using it on herself or Koss or the minions, not on me. I guess if I want to get the most of it, if I like when I notice that splinter weapons on me, I should not use illusionary weaponry but yeah it lasts 30 seconds so it's kind of hard to control that all right where are we going yonder market i don't know if i've ever been here oh it's an outpost what cool all right, we can get rid of Charm Animal on her, and we can put, like, um, Resurrection Signet, or is there any energy, energy regening? I don't know if there's any energy regeneration skills for beast that would help maybe like yeah maybe I don't have it I thought it was like scavenger strike or something is this a strike foes or something from condition yeah we're using that for sure nine energy boom now we got some energy regeneration. Nice. It might be worth... I mean, no, that's pretty good. Nine energy. So you get four energy regeneration for that. What if we... What if we do this number? That's much better. Much better. And only lose one damage of the... Of the... um. Barrage. So what's cool is if I look at my heroes now, we have the Nightbringer, we have Dizabel's Hornbow, and then Koss is also decked out. I need to get him a sword, swordsmanship rune, actually. Later. Okay, where are we at now? We're in Yatindi Valley. Oh, it would have been way better to go from the bazaar, huh? Now we gotta go all the way around here? Whatever. Yeah, the lion's gonna go down, but it'll... Oh, he's not. I need to make sure I'm not just spamming spells because that actually lowers my DPS sometimes. I need to make sure I'm getting the most out of illusionary weaponry. Something I'm just now noticing is Elias might need two minion spells because it takes him a while with that 25 second cooldown. So he can only have like one or two minions up at a time. I might remove Infuse Condition and put like Bone Horror or something like that bone minions 
Oh, that's a cool pet too. The other thing about the Jagged Horror is I think the Jagged Horror's attacks cause bleeding. Yeah, yeah. So he actually has three conditions. He's got disease, poison, and bleeding. Which ends up being a lot of DPS, like I said. Pathetic Visage, getting some good use out of that. Oh, we over aggroed. We over aggroed hard. Oh, no, 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 no. Crazy. Oh no. Get him, Koss. What's he doing? He's not attacking anyone. Fight someone. Margaret's not even fighting. She's on avoid combat. Are you kidding me? We had a useless, useless teammate. Jeez. All right, let's go. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that was very unlucky. I need to go all the way over there. Nice. That's some AoE. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's okay if my pets die. Because... They're just more bodies. Definitely, now that I know where Norgu is, you should go through no the Kodash Bazaar. We went from here. Well, we had to go there anyway, so we went from here to Yonner Market. Unlocked a new outpost, so that is, you know, that's something. I didn't even know that place existed. There was no like, quest or anything there. Maybe, maybe you end up there after like a different quest line, like Master of Whispers or something line. Level six. Nice. 
Not seeing any bosses. I thought I came this way before, but I guess not. Jeez. It's a lot of damage. You know what when we get Nargu I'm debating I might I might make him an illusionary weaponry built uh uh spammer too Mesmer that's the word I'm looking for so we have double illusionary weaponry that would be really annoying give him a pet too we have three pets I wonder if if hench or uh, heroes know how to use illusion of weakness correctly or not. Hopefully they don't spam it during battle. Not much damage out of my pet. Five damage here and there. Okay, we made it. There's Norgu. What do I need to do? Who is the hero? What? I don't know what happened to my fellow actors, but the show must go on and it shall be gloriously heroic. Luckily, these are simple folk and Jahir, Jahinir. All we need is a stalwart hero, a villain of pure evil, and a brave way for the hero to slay the villain. So, of course, I'll be the hero, right? I'll let him shine. I'll make him the hero. What evil does the hero have to fight? Um, a disgruntled pie master. What did the hero do? Defeated the evil with minty fresh breath. Uh, that sounds good. Do we complete? No, oh, perform now. Brave, brave, brave Norgu, adventuring with many other brave companions, did come upon a great and unthinkable evil of pure evilness. What is this evil that is killing us all, making us sad? They cried. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, hero defeated the evil with minty fresh breath. Oh, how the peasants. Okay. It's not as funny as they thought it was. Good job. Norgu has, like, I'm not body shaming him, but he's got an interesting body type. <laughs> he's, I don't know. Like, typically the Mesmer, you think of this, like, kind of, uh, what's his name from the Witcher series? Dandelion? But, yeah. Anyway. There we go. Stick to Boca's free buffets. No good. Yeah, so they are body shaming him. <laughs> yeah, they didn't like that. Protect Norgu from the dangers of attending Valley. Perform. We gotta perform again. Hoja Estates. Gosh. He's only level 18. Hopefully we can keep him alive. Yeah, we got this. I need to save Sympathetic visar Visage if he starts taking damage. 
he's it looks like he's attacking, so that's good. He's helping us. Goes up this way. Why am I only doing 40 damage? They must have some base, like, damage reduction with those Margonites. I should be doing 42. He's got, like, minus 2 damage reduction or something. Plus 2 damage reduction? Sure takes a long time for the pets to level up. It'll be nice to have a level 20 pet. He has 390 health, I think, so that's pretty good. Well, this is turning out to be a pretty long quest. And no bosses to capture elite skills. I didn't notice that was Nord who he was attacking. Level 15, getting up there. So how much? 410. He gets 20 health per level. It's another good thing about Tainted Flesh. Using it on my uh, using it, using it on Norgu helps him defend, and it makes it makes my enemies immune to disease. I didn't realize that. Pretty strong. I feel like Tainted Flesh did something else when it first came out. What was the original? What was the original skill description of Tainted Flesh? Anyone remember? I feel like it was I feel like it used to be stronger. They might have nerfed it or something. I don't know. Alright, this should be the last part of the, the quest. And then we're gonna be very powerful. I might just make him an a domination. What's that? Vavi and Tower Shield. Cool. Looks neat. Reduces disease on your Vite 20%. <laughs> Doesn't really matter since we're using Tainted Flesh.
All right, we finished. Register Norgu Norgu's playwrights with the records keeper Palin at the writing guild of Vabby. Where is that? Um, can I just teleport then? Do I need to escort him? I think I need to escort him more. Just in case, we're going to escort him all the way there. Or, yeah, maybe we don't need to because he's just standing there. Still, just in case. It's very possible with the way some of these escort quests work in Guild Wars. If you warp out too early, it could cost you the whole thing. So we're just going to run there. All right. Looks like we could have just warped. That's okay. And this will be the end of this episode. About 30 minutes in, 35 minutes in, something like that. And we got... Norgu, our second Mesmer. Now the question is, who do we replace? Do we replace Koss or Margaret? I'm leaning towards Koss because I'm kind of liking Margaret. For some reason. Classically trained actor and the de facto leader of the Listen Fools acting troupe. Norgu is a boisterous glad hander who never met a buffet table he didn't like. Yeah, so it wasn't just me body shaming him. The game body shames him quite a bit. Alright, let's get rid of Koss. We'll put Norgu on there. He's level 18. What does he come with? He comes with... So he's an illusion. He comes with clumsiness, mistrust. I don't even think I have that skill, do I? I don't even have that skill. That's interesting. Do I automatically unlock it? So if I unequip that skill, he loses it, doesn't he? Is domination. Why does he come with the domination skill and he has no domination attribute? It's so weird. So it's basically like clumsiness but for spells. So we'll make him a domination. Let's give him... Um, stolen speed is nice. Let's give him panic. Let's make him super interrupty. Or Enchanter's Conundrum was good. We like that one too. We'll use Panic, Cry of Frustration. Um, doesn't need Mantra of Persistence. Do it like this. Plus Leech Signet. And... Ether tap? Drain enchantment? That might be good. That's a decent build. Let's get rid of this too and give him... Let's give him... Power drain? No. Oh. Mind rack. No. <laughs> Signet of disruption. So he's super interrupty. 
Might be overkill on interrupts. All right, very good. Uh, let's give him our domination staff. There we go. Can he equip our anniversary shield? He can. Oh, that's interesting. All right, just like that, we are finished with this episode. Um, I'm going to be editing some of that out. Don't know. Uh, it feels kind of long, but anyway, we picked up a Norgu. That was a long quest. It should have been way shorter because we should have gone from Kodash Bazaar down here to Yonner Market. And it said we came down from Honor Hill. So that's why it took so long. Don't do that. But lesson learned. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Next episode, we will be going to Holdings of Chokin via Mihanu, Mihanu Township. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.